Hey everyone, so did you guys know PayPal has its own cryptocurrency on the blockchain? It's called PayPal USD. And it's a PayPal stablecoin issued by Paxos, the guys that made USDT fully backed and regulated. Uh, and that's exciting to me to see. Like, are people using this? And if you look at PayPal over here, they did actually go to sort of a crypto sense. What do I think about this one? So I definitely think there is a lot of users for PayPal USD. I think it has a lot of potential to be used, not as the main payment system, but PayPal has so many transactions. And while a lot of people use PayPal on crypto, if PayPal enters the blockchain for that reason, imagine the price potential. So I really think that's the exciting factor. But again, I think it's just getting started in that sense. Like crypto right now has a big opportunity to have a lot of holders in and they won't understand what usdt is in that sense they won't really understand what crypto is so that's a problem right now but if we look at the long-term potential just think about all the possible opportunities that this has it would be absolutely unbelievable and that's where i really think this cryptocurrency really wins in a sense like where it really has a ton of massive updates uh again tons of cryptos are basically growing stronger and stronger every single day and one of them being well you guessed it paypal so paypal probably will have a very large market share in that sense it won't be the biggest cryptocurrency uh but again with such a large market share they can get those holders that don't really believe in USDC, don't believe in other tokens. And that's where I think the big price potential is, in my opinion. So what do you guys think about this? I personally think there's tons of opportunities for PayPal USDT not to be the biggest cryptocurrency ever. Again, as I said, I might be sounding like a broken record, but it's definitely going to be used by people that have not been new to crypto so again uh is it gonna stay back back to the dollar it's issued by paxos so paxos is one of the leading exchanges and they probably realize that okay paypal is not gonna take our market share it's only gonna take a market share of its own users uh and again you can't really seem too much when you try to look at paypal paypal coin or paypal usd you can't really find too much about it like did you know PayPal stablecoin is skyrocketing in value? It has jumped by 527%. I guess he's he's referring to the if trading volume, right? 300 million market cap. So it seems like some whales are using this. Tether USDT had a similar journey starting at 300 million market cap and seeing a whopping 31,000 increase in seven years. Imagine the potential for SPY USD. PayPal might be just sitting on a digital gold mine with their exciting 4.18 billion profits, introducing PiSD could be the move that keeps the forefront of financial innovation. And again, they're taking the long-term approach. They're keeping an open mind. A lot of the institutions, they're very, I wouldn't say close-minded. I think they're very conservative with how they tr treat crypto. And one of them being the big task at hand right now is simply put, so many people, they don't care um, about crypto centralization decentralization but a lot of these big institutions they're going ahead they're gonna focus on bringing new value uh of actually expanding their company and i think that's what paypal is doing right now it's trying to expand its community uh and it's it's doing that very well so so that's the big difference i see right now paypal is not the biggest project but it's taking its smaller market shares where it can, having that opportunity to be a crypto of a lifetime. That's a definitely a very exciting method. Can I withdraw my earnings, you know, PayPal, which doesn't work in my country. So again, this could be used on the blockchain uh, for a lot of PayPal fans. So there, there's the only thing I don't see many people talking about it because it's in such early stages, only 300 million market cap. Tether has that much volume, has 43 billion volume in a single day. So that just doesn't make any sense at all. Or it's set here, 43 billion volume. It has about 12 million volume PayPal USD. So it does have some small sort of smaller traction. I will keep you guys updated. Sorry if I'm speaking so illiterate today. 
um, just tons of content to be talking about and I absolutely love it. So if you want to join on my crypto journey, be sure to smash that like button and I will keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace everyone. Does the treasure magic token have any potential? Now I watched a lot of reviews about it on what exactly is going on with it. Sure, smash that like button if you guys haven't already. We're going to be looking at tons of picks for today. Uh, treasure magic, really 400% gains. Crypto gaming is coming back. There's one issue, it's on Arbitrum. So this is not really an issue. What the issue is, it has a very low user base and crypto gaming is highly competitive. So if you can wait for this token to rise back up, it could definitely see some potential. The reason for that is because it survived the biggest bear market of crypto 2022 and 2023. So look at this, even 2023, we didn't see much price growth, but this token really rose back up and crypto gaming is competitive, but big AAAAA studios are not in crypto gaming. Like, like Call of Duty isn't doing NFTs yet. And that's the big factor why a lot of these smaller companies are coming. Uh, if you go on their website over here, then they're gonna have the network of games bringing players together and through the magic. Now, Gala Games has a very big market share. The big question is, can this actually be beat Gala Games in that sense? Like if it can, just imagine the massive, massive potential this has. It, it, it would be absolutely insane. Um, but it doesn't have to be Gala Games because this is on the Arbitrum. It's one of the Arbitrum's top layer projects. The difference here is Arbitrum doesn't get like so much activity. Like it's a, it's a very low fees. But that doesn't mean it has a lot of like uh, people coming in, people talking about it. That's where I think the big factor is, if you ask me, like what the difference is. So that is one exact one huge example in that in that sense. So I will keep you guys more updated with that if you guys want. That being said, though, we've been building it for two years. 2024, we'll be releasing our ecosystem beta token Kuro. So they're releasing some of these like anime games and it looks pretty awesome. Look at this. Uh, just show days. All for the glory and the talismans known as Kuro. We have found their treasures. And now you are invited to partake in their rituals of old. Join us to claim the treasures of the ancients. So yeah, the trailers look pretty awesome, looks pretty standard. Uh, the issue I also have is how many people will use the NFTs and they have a lore. So they're really trying hard. The issue is they're a low user base. That's something I'm, I have problematic with. Uh, they are still developing though. And they're probably going to be developing multi through multiple bear markets. So that's one way it wins. Like in that sense, a lot of people have been waiting for that. That being said, what do you guys think about this token? I personally think it has like some potential it definitely is probably going to be seeing some opportunities uh some price growths but again can you sustain those bear markets in that sense can you sustain all those bad bad news like when we get the worst of the worst in crypto are you gonna wait for that that's that's my question really um that being said what do you guys think will happen with cryptocurrencies in the next few days let me know that in comments below and I will keep you guys updated. It seems like they have an alpha launch in quarter one of 2024. This is why it's go going on, why it's growing. Standalone game client, preliminary pet system. That looks cool. Uh, they did have a house builder. So they're doing all this stuff that other games haven't been doing yet. Uh, they will have a co-op mode. They're, they're adding really things that people want to see. Again, can they sustain this? They have about 17 likes on this one. So Arbitrum, nobody uses it uh in theory this is cool i'm not too sure what's gonna happen with it again there's gonna be plenty of crypto games that are gonna be coming around coming back uh that's where the problem really is with these crypto games they come and go but i'm still very hopeful about it so if you guys want more content like this be sure to smash that like button and i will keep you guys updated with more awesome stuff until next time peace everyone Let's, about, let's talk about Jito. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day today. Uh, I sure am. Tons of content to talk about uh, in this market. So that's something that a lot of people are looking forward to. Jito is the major market network cat contributor in the Solana chain. So basically the real potential I see with this one is, is it's massive, massive opportunity to scale. 
So it's collection of MEV products, liquid staking pool. Now it does include some DeFi and you know what you, I, I think about DeFi. I'm not too fond of it. I'm not too big of a fan with DeFi in that sense. So that being said, there is a lot of crypto opportunities right now to see in this market potential of where this could go basically. And there could be multiple scenarios for this. So that's something I'm really excited about again. What do you guys think about this? I personally think that uh, MEV rewards are being used by big crypto companies or, or some secret backers. So in that sense, earn MEV rewards through Gito Solana liquid staking protocol. You can have a staking pool. Uh, and that's like a very small market. So they're posting some memes here. But they have a big potential on total value lock group by 179 in USD terms. Look at this. So total value locked in USDT from 3.6 million to 648 million. I'm not too sure if DeFi is back in that sense, but it's definitely making those major price runs for its money. So that's where I find the real potential in that sense. Like that's where the real excitement is. But again, who knows what could happen? Like there is probably going to be plenty of opportunities uh, of what we're going to be seeing in the next few days with this one. Gito holders have been growing. Uh, Gito sold vault cap raise. So it seems like more people are going to play it for the long term. Trade postmortem, how too fast leverage Gito's block to send a bundle that automatically capture 2 million profit and tick figment 89k in process. So again... This is what we're seeing right now. Um, we are seeing these massive Arbitrums bots basically making a ton of money. And I think Gito is actually trying to solve that. High performance Solana MIV infrastructures. I'm not too sure how many people will use this, but there was like a trade where a dog with hat trader made $6 million um, and made $2 million of profit, uh, gave the validator basically the holder 2 million. So that's why I think this coin is growing because a lot of more people are using it. Uh, and we're seeing basically more people coming back into this. A too fast leverage Gito's block engine to send a bundle of automatically capture this arbitrage. So if you want to know what this token is actually about, it's about you know how you buy a cryptocurrency on the market. That's the easiest way to explain it. And then let's say the price is not right or the price is too little. There will be like a little bot that will run around to another exchange and bring you this, like this food or this, this token uh, for a much cheaper price. So for a fair price, but he's going to end up keeping the difference, the profit in that sense. So I think this is where really the crypto wins. Like MEV bots are very expensive to make. Too fast ended up with a 2 million profit. And again, I think this like, how people are seeing, oh, there's a guy that made 2 million. I think it's a big institution behind that. I definitely think it's a big trader because someone to buy 2 million, you know, it's not that simple. It's not that simple as having maybe uh, $1,000 and then profiting 2 million. You actually have to have enough liquidity to provide for that. But those who do, those are the ones that really end up profiting a lot. And that's what I find really exciting. Now, if you ask me, I personally think uh, that this is just the beginning and there's going to be more of this um, with traders uh, of more of MAV traders and Gito is going to like support that is going to solve that issue for them. The issue is it's going to be highly competitive in just probably a few years. This won't be sustainable long term. Look at this generating 226, 28,000 uh, in span of 24 seconds. Uh, and this is like this is going to be a very complicated thing for anyone that's not ha has not been in crypto long term. So I definitely think this is going to be a risky play for you. I personally think a lot of people are buying Gito that actually use Gito for itself, that actually are m having their own me, me EV, so maximum extraction value bought. Uh, that's something that people who have been in crypto for 12 years still haven't used to this day, uh, just because of how risky it can be how insanely risky it can be. But that being said, what I personally think about this one, I think there is still opportunity to see with this one, like some price growth. Again, uh, tons of potential in that sense. But I definitely think that most people buying this are going to be huge whales who are just going to use 
Gido anyway. So Gido StakeNet is a decentralized Solana stake pool manager, binding validator history and stewards programs for secure, transparent validator management and autonomous stake operations. Uh, so they also have their own staking platform. Of course, this is mostly going to be, again, used by those who are in the crypto game for a long time. So you shouldn't buy this token if you're expecting like uh, to understand what's going on. This is like so complicated for so many people who have been in crypto maybe five, six years. Um, and it's not an easy profit. I definitely think holding like another coin could be an easier profit here, but they're def definitely going to build that community up if MEV is still going to be used a lot. The issue is maybe a lot of blockchains will stop using MEV. Right now, Solana is using one. Ethereum is using one. Uh, ICP, I think, is not using one. Terrible Classic, for example, is not using one. Uh, MEV going to Jito Soul Stakers just crushed previous added highest, so they're giving more of these rewards. To MEV, how much are they actually giving? They're giving about 80 Solana per week, which definitely adds up. So these are like small transactions. Uh, not as big as we thought, but it's definitely a big growth. MEVs are simply growing at a very, very fast pace. And that's where it's a real excitement for anyone um, looking to have, you know, the biggest gains overall. That being said, what do you guys think about this? I will keep you guys updated with more news. If you want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. Till next time, peace everyone.